So you want some big old triceps, huh? Well, you're in luck. You came to the right place. I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve that. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So I've been doing this series, you know, three best exercises to achieve a certain body part, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. And in my last video, the biceps video, a ton of people were requesting the triceps video. So that's what I got for you guys today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. A lot of people think to have big arms, they just need to do a bunch of bicep curls and build up their bicep, right? But what people don't know is that your arm is actually two thirds tricep to bicep ratio. So if you really want to grow the overall size of your arm, you definitely need to not neglect your triceps and you need to work it just as hard, if not more than your biceps. Just like it says in the name, you know, tricep, tri being three, the tricep consists of three parts three heads of the muscle. You got the lateral head, which is here, the long head, which is here, and the medial head, which is down here. So to achieve that big, thick, muscular tricep look, you need to be developing each part of the tricep equally. To get that width from the front, you want to build your lateral head, and to get that width from the side, you need to build your long head and medial head. And as you'll see with these exercises, they target each and every part of the tricep, and that's what I love so much about these exercises. So exercise number one is dumbbell incline skull crushers, and they look like this. The original standard way of doing this is to lie down on the incline bench and then bring the dumbbells back towards your temples and then press them back forward. So you get that full stretch of motion in your tricep with plenty of resistance. But I like to throw some variety in there. Sometimes I start from my chest and press upward and sometimes I start from my head and press up because the different angles and the different grips target different parts of your tricep. For instance, if you have your palms facing each other like this and then press upward, it really targets your lateral head. Whereas if you have your palms apart, they really target the long and medial head of your triceps. So I like to you know, experiment with all of these, do an equal amount of each to really burn out and exhaust my tricep muscles. Three sets of about 10 to 15 reps because triceps are one of those stubborn muscle groups where you really have to hit them hard with a lot of intensity, not super heavy weight to build and get that definition going in your triceps. Exercise number two, this isn't an actual primary exercise, this is a burnout, this is a exhaustion exercise. I do this pretty much after every set of whatever tricep exercise I'm doing at that time. I'm not sure if they have a scientific name, but I call them close grip bench push-ups, and they look like this. So after your set of tricep exercises, you immediately wrap around to the back of the bench, have an inverted posture, head up, chest out, basically just do a push-up with all of the weight targeted right in your triceps. And with this motion, you can actually turn your palms inward so all of the momentum and all of the leverage is directed towards your lateral head of your triceps, so you're really gonna burn out that lateral tricep head and get that horseshoe shape going. But it's not limited to that. You could try different grips. Sometimes I even put the back of my hands on the bench so it's all of the tricep, each head, equally. But yeah, guys, with this, there's no rep range. I just do it until my triceps are completely exhausted, completely burning, completely pumped, and there's no strength left in them. So I recommend doing this pretty much after every set that you do. And the third and last tricep exercise I will be showing you guys today is single arm tricep pushdowns with the cable. I love this exercise compared to the standard tricep pushdown because you can really focus on pronating your grip, meaning turning your wrist outward. What that's gonna do is put all of the weight and all of the work onto the lateral head of your tricep, which is this part right here. And what that's gonna do is build it up wide so your arms look wide and ripped. But what you also can do is supinate your wrist the opposite direction so it hits all heads, including your long and medial head. So I like doing a combination of these two to completely exhaust every head of my triceps. I recommend doing at least 10 sets of each hand grip for each arm. And I'd say do about three sets of each. So guys, like I was saying, you really need to hit the triceps hard with a lot of reps, 
at medium weight. The heavier you go, the less reps you're gonna do and the less growth you're probably gonna see. Do these exercises, guys. Do at least three sets of each with your tricep workouts. Do a tricep workout at least once per week if you wanna see some substantial growth, but uh, don't do it too much or else you're just gonna be breaking down those fibers and not giving them time to repair themselves. So guys, I hope you take advantage of these tips because if you stick to it, you work hard, you're definitely gonna see some progress. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe turn post notifications on let me know what you want to see in in videos to come in the comments below and until next time peace out